Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Costumes. Today we're going to go over painting yellow hair. Uh, this is a Cassie Wonder Girl uh, custom statue that I'm working on again for somebody else. So I figured this would be a perfect opportunity to show you how I paint yellow hair. Now as you can see, uh, basically under here the red, some chrome and stuff is all around there. So when you paint yellow over a lot of darker colors, like even some reds, blues, blacks, it's very difficult to kind of get through. So what I like to do is basically uh, coat everything in maybe like a skin tone or a white or a uh, metallic. But most of the time when I want to get some kind of like a platinum type of blonde hair but keep it bright yellow, I like to use a flesh tone basically as my base. So I use Garage Kits flesh tone and just coat it up. Get it all nice and, you know, basically they the nice light color coating. And then from there, start working out all the yellows. So, basically I'm just going to show you how I coat it and then we'll keep going from there. Alright, so basically now it's pretty much coated up in the skin tone and this helps in case you had some black lines, dark blues, whatever, and you really just want to get all that out. So this is kind of like what I do. So I like to keep a bright yellow plus like platinum, platinum bond. So basically what I do next is I got my uh, Garage Kits uh, Lemon Yellow and or Bright Yellow and some still the Flesh Tone. So basically what I like to do is put a couple drops of Flesh Tone in my airbrush and then... Uh, Take the uh, bright yellow and pour that in there too. So it kind of, not pure uh, bright yellow, kind of gives it a little bit of like, um, I guess a platinum in a way. So basically you just start coating it all over. The reason I put some of the skin tone in there too also because if you are hitting some darker areas it kind of, you know, helps out with uh, covering it. But also uh, as I like to work sometimes if I overspray it a little, I hit it with an air dryer. Alright, so I got a majority of it going, so I still got a lot of little areas to get in uh, underneath. But as you can see, it's pretty much there. A couple more. Now, uh, as far as this character goes, she's kind of like a bright yellowish uh, blonde hair, so I won't tone it down too much. But what I do like to do is at certain points, I do like to uh, kind of hit the hair with a little bit of a pearl because I like to get that like, um, you know, uh, commercial look of like, you know, con hair conditioner. So what I'll do is I'll get some, uh, you know, Create Tex or whatever pearl. Kind of just uh, miss it out a little bit. 
just helps give it a little bit of a shine. Because this way when you kind of turn her, you get like kind of like a little shine going across certain areas. Kind of just brings it out a little bit. So, just a little bit, not much. So tone it back down. Alright, so I, next step what I'm going to do is I'm going to still get all the areas all uh, pretty much yellowed up. So then we'll come back and we'll start doing some more detailing work. Alright, so at this point we pretty much kind of kind of coated up. So now I'm going to like start working on some shadows and details. And I don't mind working a little bit too heavy because I like to tone it down anyway. So in this uh, airbrush what I got is some garage uh, kit uh, sepia. Sepia? Whatever the hell it is. I don't know. But anyway, it's kind of a cool color. It's got like a... It's like a brownish uh, red, but it's kind of like uh, transparent in a way. So I kind of like to give the yellow a little bit of shadows in certain areas. I don't, I'm not worried about hitting too much, but I also don't want to go too crazy where it bleeds, because it's very thin. But it is a really cool color. I kind of like it for uh, hairs. Now she's not really dirty blonde, but it still helps to kind of give some shadows in areas. Like if I sprayed a little too much there, which is fine. Just gotta kind of hit it with a hair dryer. Dry it up a little. Now I'm going I'm going upwards because I want light coming down, so I'm kind of hitting it in downward areas. Like I said, I'm spraying a little heavy, but that's fine. I'm going to tone it all down later. And also, uh, basically, you want to hit the top area too. Get it in there a little. Like I said, it's uh, it's really turning orangey now, but that's fine. That's what I want, want. I want to get into certain crevices. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry this up, we'll come back and we'll start pulling it out now, just getting back the brights again. Alright, so at this point it's kind of like an orangey uh, yellow, and that's fine because that's what I wanted. I, I won't want her um, pure yellow, but I don't want her having like really browns in the hair because she's such a bright yellow character. So we go back to mixing some uh, flesh tones with yellows. We start hitting uh, certain areas. And it's fine that it's kind of like coming out fleshy, that's okay because I'll do one more mist afterwards. I'll well, actually some of the yellow is coming back out of the airbrush now. Because I like to mix in the cup, I don't like sometimes I just take it and swirl it around like that.
All right, I pretty much got it where I want it. I kind of like it the way it is. It's got, you know, it's not pure, pure yellow, and it's not uh, crazy browns and shadows. You can kind of toy with it a little bit in certain areas. But at this, at this point in time, what I'd like to do is uh, take one last uh, little coverage of some pearl, just to give it a little bit of a shine. Not heavy, just a little bit. And it's kind of... That's about it, not much, not crazy. Now from here, uh, what I'll probably do is take my cup with the paint of the yellow in it still, grab a little white, dab a little bit of white into it, mix it up. So it's kind of not pure white, but not pure yellow, it gives it like a little bit of a platinum. And just in certain areas where the highlights might be. You know, see I'm just hitting certain little areas. It kind of brings out, so you got some depth, you got some stuff pulling it out in the front. There you go, I got some kind of a nice, uh, you know, hair going. Blonde hair. Bright shadows, dark areas. I mean, if, you, if you're in, uh, doing a lot of washes, you can do washes. From here, what I like to do is uh, seal it all up and then go from there. So, we'll be back uh, once it's sealed up and show you it off. Alright, so here we go. Pretty much uh, the hair is all done. It's, uh, you know, pretty much sealed up, ready to go. And, uh... Just uh, pretty much see if you get hit with different lights with the pearls, you get kind of like kind of like a little cool glow, and that's kind of like what I like to do with the pearls and hairs, especially for females. It gives a little bit of that sheen look. So that's pretty much how I do uh, yellow hair. Uh, hopefully, it helps you guys out, gives you guys some ideas. Um, just got some fine tuning to do. I got some silly putty still stuck in some areas. I got to pull out, but it's just pretty much. Uh, Get you there. So hopefully you guys like the video and uh, we'll see you next time.